the artist Never here, but I know where her heart is Do a thing, but she don't shave her armpits Every time she goes, yeah, she goes in the artist I'm in love with a girl, she a artist Never here, but I know where her heart is Do a thing, but she don't Two to the lightweight armpits. division of glory One of the true heavy hitters in the division With more than half of his bouts ending in knockout Here is Here's our tale to tape 25 years old for Kopravinsky. Jariah still just 23. The weight, that's usually an issue for Jariah. He's always had trouble cutting weight, but like Joe said, he looks fantastic. You can see his picture. He's got six pack now. I don't think he's ever had that before. And it'll be Kopravinsky with a three inch reach advantage. Even with Jariah, only 23 years old with 71, you know, fights. But Kopravinsky has been on a good run here in lightweight. Had a lot of high profile fights. So it can go either way here. My keys to glory for this belt for Kopravlinski needs to keep his distance, stay long, and really use counterattacks versus that pressure of Jiraiya. And he's known for his kick, so he's got a level change with him. Jiraiya, he's got a pressure. Get on the inside. Use his aggressive tacking style, especially with his hands, and he needs to mix those levels. Hits the body, mix in his low kicks. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the lightweight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he turned pro at the age of 17 and is set to make his third glory start. As a professional, 64 wins with just seven losses. 36 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet 11 and one half inches, 1.82 meters. He weighed in at fight time at 153.9 pounds, 69.8 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mohammed, the destroyer, Jariah. His opponent fighting out of the wide corner, a contender tournament champion who made his debut in Amsterdam at Glory 45. As a professional, 10 wins with three losses, four of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 154.3 pounds and even 70 kilograms. He fights out of Bulgaria and is ranked number three in the Glory World Rankings. Here is Stoyan the Sniper, Koprivlenski. Your referee in charge of this bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, blame the commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Judge. This is going to be Judge. a good one. How could it not be? Yep. I'm holding my breath here. Taking deep breaths myself. Joy already in Fight. the middle of the ring. He loves to come right at you. Like it's the last 10 seconds of the fight. He's starting off with a nice good jab and hard low kick. Kravlinski replies with the same. Exchange kicks. Kravlinski got the better of it. Not a knockdown. Nice body kick there from Stoyan Kravlinski, just under the elbows of Jiraiya, who likes a high guard defense. Some guys, when they drop down a weight class, they carry their power with them. Other guys do not. Interesting to see what happens with Jariah. Yeah, I do follow him on social media, and he's doing a lot more strength and conditioning. But you can tell from Kopravlinski, he does a lot himself, too. Sometimes Jariah can get wild once he starts letting his hands go. Sometimes it's for the good, sometimes it's for the bad. Fight. Right back, Jariah comes back. Stop! Fight! Kopravinsky, a big star in his native Bulgaria. Good level changes so far from Kopravinsky with his fight. kicks. One of his keys fight. for this fight. Oh, nice right hand, snapping the head back of Stoyan. Let go! Let go. 
No, 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 no. You cannot charge. Okay, one strike. You cannot Solid charge. Solid aggression from Jiraiya. That's what he needs. But Koprovinsky attacking the body. Break! Okay, next time. Okay, public warning. You cannot sweep. Jiraiya looks with those innocent Fight. eyes. <laughs> what did I do? And now he's sent to the canvas. Fight! Kopravlinski's mixing the front kick off of the round kick, which is good strategy to keep Jiraiya away from him. Break! Fight! Thirty seconds to go here in round one. A close round. Yeah, this is extremely close. I'm surprised it's Copper Vince. Let go! Right, coming Nick, forward. No, no, time. I just think he's doing no, a good didn't. job with his kicks. You're holding. You are holding the leg. Okay? You are holding the leg. Timing, fight! Nichols thought about taking a point away. That has got Jiraiya fired up. Great! Yeah, he Break. fights with a lot of emotion. Stoyan Koprovinsky, nicknamed the Sniper. And you know, he really made his big splash back at Glory 49 when he won that four-man contender tournament. And yes, he does hold a Marine Navigator's license, basically a big, giant ship. He could be hauling coal down the Danube River, but instead he's a kickboxer. Here's the Destroyer, Mohamed Jiraiya, representing Morocco. As we keep saying, the Destroyer with his fighting style, continually coming forward with those power shots. And he says, I don't like to win on points. You can see how he goes and in probably these highlights, we're gonna see him really come forward, get really aggressive. But you can see Stoyan keeping distance, trying to use his Stoyan. kicks. Where Jiraiya's trying to close the distance and come in with his punches. There he landed a good snap in right hand. Let's go. First round up Stoyan. in the air. We'll find out soon. Clean the corner for Muhammad Jiraiya. Out! That is Muhammad Jiraiya's girlfriend. Fight! She's looking on anxiously. Good reflexes there for Jiraiya to avoid that attack. Three judges gave the first round to the Bulgarian, two to Jiraiya. Jiraiya needs to be careful with those two warnings. You know, Paul Nichols ready to go. Take a point now. Blood what? coming out of the nose of Muhammad Jiraiya. This was always going to be a tough fight for him. Carl Provinsky much more accurate. 34-60, Jiraiya 24-69. Yep. Carl Provinsky now to the jab. Good body kick, and then it's Jiraiya who lands a low what? kick. Not sure I've seen this many times that fighters have gone down on non-knockouts. It's a lot from those front kicks. You see Stoyan mixing them really well. Break! Break! Fight! Koprovinsky won the knockout of the year back in 2017. His head kick to Michael York. Break! Fight! I'd love to score one of those again. There's a body kick. Spinning back fist. Jiraiya, though, like a little pit bull, doesn't want to slow down. But Stoyan's jab, his front kicks, it's making it hard for him to come in. Break! And he ties him up on the inside, doesn't let him get his punches off. Jiraiya first stepped into a kickboxing gym at the age of 13, always wanted to be a pro soccer player, but said after his first lesson, he fell in love with the sport and hasn't left the gym since. Jiraiya trying to use some feints to enter now. Ooh, nice left, a little jab there from Koprovinsky. Yep. the timing off. Being the taller fighter, knowing that Jiraiya's coming in with his hands, he's got to pop it. Keep that distance, that range. Uppercut landed in a right hand for Muhammad Jiraiya. Back and forth they go, Joe. Oh, 
Remember, Jiraiya cut more weight than usual for this fight. Did it affect his gas tank? But it seems so far like he hasn't. But a lot of fighters to make the lower weight class end up doing a lot more conditioning. Behind the head. Public warning, if you do that again, I'll take the point straight away. Okay? Okay? Time in, fight! Ten seconds left here in round two. Stop! Jariah thinks he won that second round. It was close. Yeah, it's, it's close. It's, it's really hard to, to pick a winner in that because Stoyan was picking a part where Jariah's pressure and, and punches. Here's the current state of the lightweight division. Koplovinsky ranked number three. Of course, Murat Gregorian, the champion after beating Sidichai. But that is a loaded division. Yeah, one of our toughest divisions we have. Very big fight for Stoya. Be sure to keep up with all things Glory on our website, glorykickboxing.com, as well as Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. Glory, just a touch away. Use the hashtag Glory66. Want to hear what you have to say about tonight's fights, and we're in the midst of a good one as we enter round three. Come on. Soon see what the judges had to say about that second round. Good right hand to start the round for Jariah. Stoyan on back to the jab. And matching the inside combinations. Three for Koprovinsky, two for Jariah. Four judges have it all even, so it does boil down to this third round. So that pressure from Jariah is starting to pay off for the judges. Break! He's known for his dramatic, violent knockouts. What a front kick there for Koprovinsky. One of his best strikes in the fight. Yeah. But Jiraiya, being the warrior that he is, went right through it. And nice job by him not to throw a punch there. Could have cost him a point. Yeah, when you catch a lay, you got one step from one strike. Is Jariah in the best condition of his life, or is he drained? Well, he looks great so far. He's the busier fighter. Oh, nice knee snuck right between the guard. I great. think Koprovinsky's hurt. Yeah, he stumbled forward there. Wait. Yeah, he fell right into Jariah, and he's still not quite right, I don't think. I don't know. I think even Koprovinsky's lead leg is hurt. Jariah's corner imploring him to move forward. Yeah, Koprovinsky's lead leg is hurt. Every time Jariah Fight. lands that low kick, you see him limp. I think that's what caused him stumble from that knee. He can't put pressure on that lead leg. Good right hand. Trying to switch stances is Koprovinsky. Trying to find a reprieve. His legs are all bruised up right now. Yeah, I don't know how many more low kicks Koprovinsky can take. Now a big cut over the right eye, or left eye rather, it seems, of Muhammad Jariah. Blood in his nose, blood over his eye. A minute to go here in round three. And he's still coming forward. You see the damage on Stoyan's lead leg. And Joe, when your foundation isn't there, break, nothing break. works. No, nope. it's taking time. away Stoyan's Neutral. kicks and, and punches. And they will look at that cut. Oh, it looks nasty, Joe. Yeah, that's it looks one. nasty. Oh, my. The problem is there's 46 seconds left. If they stop the fight. Cutman. Cutman. Does that go to Koprovinsky at that point? Oh, he says it's stopped. He says, he says it's done, and that's it. They will stop the fight, and it is a win for Stoyan Koprovinsky, a TKO victory just when Jariah was starting to click. Yeah, man, he was coming in. Koprovinsky's legs were hurt. I don't know, for 46 more seconds, it kind of would have been nice. Jariah is incensed right now. He wants to continue. Absolutely, he's pissed. He had a fantastic performance, and 
for the fight to be stopped. Hopefully it was a strike and not an accidental strike. That front kick may have done it. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of good front kicks from Stoyan, but the countering of Jiraiya with the low kicks was one of the best in, the, in that third round. Jiraiya cannot believe it. They got to calm him down. Yeah, it's definitely a frustrating thing. He's even biting the corner buckle. It's like George the Animal Steel. Well, I mean, he was 46 seconds from a solid win. I mean, he wants to fight. I mean, it's just so unfortunate for him. That's the only complaint I think he could have is, listen, I know it's bad, but it's 45 seconds yeah. away from this fight being over. He could even run away for 46 seconds, do something. I mean, very disappointing. And they are literally physically having to hold him in that corner. That is the kick that did it. It was a great fight up to that point. It, it, it was by no means a foregone conclusion Jiraiya was going to win that round. Let's not make any bones. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely not. But it was a great fight because we knew Stoyak Koprovinsky was really good with his distance control and his kicks. And we saw Jiraiya really come forward to make it a really exciting fight. You know, after the first two rounds, it was even. But you can see that both of them really had their moments in this fight, especially with Koprovinsky with the front kicks. And fantastic third round for Jiraiya. Started finding his low kicks. You know, Koprilinski was starting to stumble. You saw redness build up. Landed a good knee there, but he's definitely pissed and disappointed. Here are the statistics of this fight. Jiraiya landed more punches. Koprilinski, many more kicks. Strikes by zone as Koprilinski really attacking the body, using his kicks and his knees and mixing the body, but Jiraiya did a good job with those low kicks. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our ringside doctor calls a halt to this contest with an official time of two minutes, 13 seconds of that third round, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Stoyan Koprivlinski. Well, I think Jiraiya will go back and look in the mirror and decide, you know what, it wasn't that bad of a stop. All right, I'm here with your winner, Stoyan Koprovlinski. Thank you. Let's turn to the camera here. Tell me your thoughts on this fight. How, how was it going in your mind? First, I want to I wanna thank the people who come to support me, all the Bulgarians. So much is a Bulgaria. Uh, my thoughts on the fight? It was going good. Jalai is good. Hard opponent. We made a good fight. I think uh, the referee knows uh, best uh, how to stop or do not stop the fight. Now with this win, and, and where do you think you are? You're currently ranked number three in the division. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I'm growing up, so it depends on glory. If I, if I deserve a title shot, let's they give me. But if not, give me a next opponent. And that's it. All right, congratulations on the win. It was a tough one. Excited to see you back, buddy. The, the fans are booing Koprovinsky, but it's not his fault. Let's look at that cut opening kick again. You know, it may have been the knee. You know, it may have been that knee, actually. It's hard to see until you can find the blood. Either way, it was 